Hello everybody, this is Matt and Jack. Hello. From TVAC here doing our third uh, post E3 press conference news roundup for Ubisoft. Yep. This time I took notes. Yep, pretty wise of us. Yeah, <laughs> it only took us three conferences to realise that we should probably take notes. Yeah. So, started off big. And Far Cry 4. They promised that it would get bigger. Mm. Yeah. Far Cry 4 looks great. It does, it, straight off the bat, when you see the guy, you think, yeah, it's Far Cry 4. Yeah. You, there's not a moment of doubt that you think. It was the, they have very distinct faces yeah. in Far Cry games. Character distinctions, yeah. yeah. Have you played Far Cry then? I think I played Far Cry 2. Yeah. I've not played a single Far Cry game. Apparently Far Cry 2 wasn't very good. No. Okay. <laughs> Well, this one looks pretty cool. It was only the first five minutes opening cinematic. Yeah, which is pretty decent. Yeah. For the record, they only showed six games in this conference. So that's one every ten minutes. Or well, I might be wrong. It might be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's <laughs> a bit off. But it, it wasn't very long. They didn't cover very many games. EA had 12. Mm. But I would say that these eight overall are better than those 12. Yeah, even though some of them we've heard from Microsoft. Yeah. Anyway, the second game they got into was Just Dance 2015. Yeah, so uh, just after Far Cry 4, they said, we start big and we get bigger. Then they released Just Dance 24. 2015, sorry. The one good thing was their new smartphone app thing. Yeah, that That, seems decent. It was pretty cool technology. I guess I'd like to see it in a different game, but... Yeah. You casuals have fun with Just Dance 2015. I know Jack will. I don't play that. <laughs> and Jack loves his dancing games. You, you, you're a casual, more casual gamer than me. <laughs> well, and then after that, it did start to get a bit bigger. A little bit, yeah. They went into div- the division showing how almost a time lapse of everything going down the shitter. Yeah. It, it was. There was no gameplay, was there? No, but no. it was quite um, intense... And impact had quite a big impact. It reminded yeah. me of The Last of Us, sort of. Yeah, considering that the thing looked like the back of it looked like Ellen Page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the girl in that for some reason looked like uh, Ellie or whatever her name is in The Last of Us. Yeah. Yeah, just a cinematic again. Pardon me. Um, it was good. Mm. Can't really say much more about that. Uh, there was some bad guys. There was a flamethrower guy. There was a garbage truck. Yeah. Uh, it does, and it 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 just shows how like well current gen nowadays <laughs> is like graphically improving a lot. But cause... what you saw what they did to Watch Dogs? Yes, and but... that was not gameplay footage. Very true. That was definitely not gameplay footage. I I would think the division as it's have having to portray on a bigger scale for multiplayer. Yeah. Like they're going to have to try and keep the graphics as they are or improve them. They can't go any less. They will be better than Watch Dogs, but I still think they'll be worse than the 3s because it's Ubisoft and they like to fuck around. True. Very true. They then announced the Drive Club Killer. Crew. The crew. Oh. Which not only has a PC open beta on July 23rd, but launches November 11th, just over a month after Drive Club. Yeah. And does so many more things than Drive Club does, it's insane. Yeah, the fact they were showing, like, more, say, time lapse of from Miami to Mi- LA. Yeah, just coast to coast. Yeah. And it looked pretty amazing, the graphically wise. Yeah, so it's got the whole of the US, the mainland US, uh, with outloading screens. Yeah. And you can join a crew in that much like you can drive, join a club in drive club but yeah. there's lots of co-op based stuff and you can like own a section more or less yeah and you can build co- they didn't actually touch on the blueprint stuff in this video no but i assume I've, it still exists because yeah. no they did mention creating yeah very briefly but i'm, I'm guessing that they don't want to reveal too much because a lot last e3 they revealed a lot about creating yeah true and this one and they want to show the world a bit more showed the world Looks great again, but it's Ubisoft, and they lie in their E3 stuff, so, you know, might not be quite that great. Um, 
they then showed more Assassin's Creed. Looks good. Mm -hmm. They showed that it's pretty much, it's more like, it's less linear, is what they sort of seem to show. Yeah, there's, it doesn't look like there's a mini-map anymore. Unless they were just hiding the HUD. Yeah. Um, it looks like you get lots of different quest lines you can explore, yeah. rather than just being forced down the main one. And that certain quest lines can be done multiplayer, but certain ones can't. I think there's a... It, by the looks of it, it looks like there's a main storyline, which is single player. And there might be some side quests that link with an online multiplayer sort of yeah. campaign. Which uh, wouldn't be... Which is what I'd like to see. Yeah. Um, we'll actually be doing videos when that comes out, because Jack's going to buy back into the Assassin's Creed franchise. It's got one last chance to impress him. Yeah, purely for the um, multiplayer. Co-op. Yeah. Which should be good. And then right after they announced that, they went straight back down the shitter with Shape Up. And they got the skinniest guy, to, <laughs> the, the, the creator of it, the, who is the most skinniest guy. This is a fitness game, by the way. Yeah, fitness. You you thought, oh, he might have like um, a few muscles, six pack. This guy. Look like he has. Most even made fun of him. <laughs> it was that uh, bad. Yeah, and then they got a um, Xbox One exclusive. Meh. Yeah. Just meh. Then they got uh, two people out. Uh, one from America and one from France. And the guy from America wasn't exactly either the le- skinniest <laughs> or <sighs> then he was quite chubby. You know, no. so to put it bluntly, <laughs> he was, and uh, some French guy. They had a push off competition. Push off, push up competition. Um, the American guy won. Somehow, thirty nine to thirty two. It's yeah. just like it, it's a bit of a stupid connect game that we don't really care about here. Yeah. So meh. They then showed Valiant Art, Valiant Art, Valiant Hearts, which is being made with the UB Art framework, same as Rayman Legends and Child of Light, which yeah. looked interesting, but they showed no gameplay. Yeah, and I'm not too big fan of, like cartoony sort of based games yeah you, if it, you think it looks too indie for you it looks too it looks too much like an indie game yes <laughs> which it, it does a lot you would be uh, forgiven for mistaking Child of Light for an indie game when it's actually Ubisoft mm. um, but then finally they sort of made up for the crappy stuff with uh, Rainbow Six Siege that game does look like a brilliant co-op base, but it looked like it's 5v5. 6v6. 6v6, is it? It was the last game they showed off. Apparently it's been six years since a Rainbow Six game. It was terrorists versus special ops, I guess. Yeah. Special ops were breaking into a house. It was sort of a rescue slash defend hostage type gameplay. If you're a terrorist, you have to keep hold of the hostage if you're the... Yeah. There's like a five minute ops. countdown. Or something. Yeah, you have to rescue them. Lots of destructible scenery. Yeah. and No respawns. It, you can tell how staged it is that they have to go by a strict plan because... It was very staged. The that, planning out beforehand where they could pick their entrance and yeah, they could that, see what they were, like, boarding up and stuff was pretty mm. cool. But... But, yeah. It's not going to play out like that in the real no. game. There's gonna be, it, it'll clearly see that there'll be one dominant team, there'll be one weaker team, and that's it. I would like to see... A co-op mode where you're only one of those sides against AI. Mm. Yeah. Because then it might play out a little more like that. Yeah. Soon the AI would have to go follow a strict basis. Yeah, and you would have to pre-plan your yeah mission route and stuff. It was a good game to end on. Mm. I would like to... I don't know if Rainbow Six traditionally has single player or not. I've never played one. See, if I was Ubisoft, I would have switched Rainbow Six for... Far Cry, because you would have ended with Far Cry. Yeah, because Rainbow yeah. Six, is, they they say, big get bigger. Rainbow Six, it's been six years as big as it is. It's dying off the <laughs> leaderboard people, a bit. People love it for some reason. Don't get me wrong, I, there have been Rainbow Six games which do look bloody amazing. Yeah. But six years after, you think? Yeah. This the. If they haven't, if it's not amazingly good, those six years have been a waste. 
Yeah. Ubisoft didn't really announce any new games except that and Shape Up and Valiant Hearts. Yeah, and they got the um, uh, head of Ubisoft to uh, come up and say about yeah. Rainbow Six. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so, yeah, that about covers it for Ubisoft's conference. Yeah. We will see you in about three hours for Sony's. Good night. Goodbye.